guys, welcome back. Shady Blocks here with another episode. I'm back from my vacation and ready to go. I went up to Washington for some wine tastings. My head hurts. Got back in yesterday. Got to record some today. And I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. I just need to get going on this place because I feel like it's been an eternity since I've been playing. But I figure we start out with something fun, something entertaining. New 1.9, uh, at 1.92, I think it's been out a little bit, but uh, I just wanted to start off with uh, killing a wither. Um, I finally, before I left um, to go on that vacay, I found some skulls. I had them all ready to go. Didn't know if I wanted to do before I left, but I figure when I get back, we can go ahead and take care of this guy. So, got my three skulls, got my four soul sand. Tons of Potion of Strength 2s, 3 Golden Apples, and I got 2 uh, Notch Apples just in case. I think probably only going to need one, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, take this guy out. So, I kind of built it. Oh, we got some slimes. This is how my slime farm works. One slime every once in a while. So, uh, I kind of built in the other direction, since we are going to bore this place out anyway and mine it, I figure let's let the wither help and come to me. So this will help uh, with my other direction for my mine shaft. So I dug it out about, I think it was 30, 40 blocks here. And uh, just came to this point, kind of built him his own little area here. And uh, I figure, you know what, let's go ahead and get this guy built here. All right. This is always terrifying, such as a new 1.9. So I think I'm gonna start off. How long does this last? A minute 30. I just gotta take a minute. So. Oh. You know what? It has to be completely. Can't be anything around them, I don't think. Funny to spawn right away. Okay, let's take this off. Oh, that's super glitchy. What the heck am I doing wrong? Should be able to spawn him here. Now well, let's get rid of this little sand. Super glitchy. I'm gonna try that again. Fail first time. All right, here we go. Come on, Wither. Load. There we go. Come on, buddy. Welcome back here. It was so loud, so I had to, I had to restart it. So I'm fighting it again. Ooh. Taking hearts. Here we go. Boom. 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 Crit, crit. Boom, easy. Weather's gone. Well, man, that's really easy with a notch apple and a strength pot. I can tell you that much. We need to light this place up. The guy starts spawning. There we go. All right. Yeah, sorry about earlier, guys. Uh, it was just so loud that I decided to just restart it. Because um, now. I am in realms, which is awesome. So I'm gonna have a couple of peeps in here uh, to be able to um, showcase some of the stuff they're doing as well, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. Uh, but there's the wither fight. We got our Nether Star, uh, but that was really, really easy. 
um, especially critting, uh, jumping up and down and critting with that. I um, made the 1.9 wither really easy to do. I didn't even have to use my bow, uh, just go in there with their sword. And he dug me a kind of nice hole here, so um, that's not bad. So uh, let's go back here and kind of show you uh, some of the stuff I've done with the uh, upstairs. Uh, today's episode, we're just kind of just fighting the weather, of course. And uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do for our next project. I still do know I've just been collecting a lot of sand for our uh, underground farm, not underground, underwater farm, and getting enough of that. So when I do have the time to be able to do that, uh, we can just build it out and then start building some of those underground features as well. But let's go up here and see. So I kind of have an idea for our automatic storage down here. So I like the dirt feature. So this is what I'm thinking of doing. I want to do dirt through here with leaves and that will basically encompass this entire area. I still do need to go to the monument to pick these up. I don't know when I'm going to have time to be able to do that, but um, I want to do that so I can uh, finish off our features in here and get our other chests on this side done. Uh, the iron is just killing me, so that's why I got all those villagers breeding so I can get that iron farm. But I think we'll just uh, go ahead and fill this all up with dirt down here and maybe throw in a couple of uh, stone brick or what's it called? The uh, what are those? These things, but they're stone brick. Mossy cobble. Um, we can throw in there as well. But out here, as you can see, I'm building my other spires here. I got two of them on this side, and we can take a look underwater. I don't think I put any of the glowstone in there, but uh, I've made them a little bit bigger. As you can see down there, that's uh, I made the base a little bit bigger to kind of give it some depth, and I just made, I haven't really built into these yet, but that's what I've done so far. Um, but what I'll go ahead and do is I think what I'll do is finish off the rest of these spires, and we can start with some of our underground, not underground, our underwater features that we're gonna have. So a lot of the normal blocks that you wouldn't use, and I, what I mean by down here is you never really use birch for anything, which oddly enough. So, but birch works really well underwater. So I'm gonna do some of the other water features and kind of design some of that. I'm not gonna do it right away, but I'm just gonna get prepared for that so we can take a look and see what that looks like. And uh, some of our underwater bridge features we can work on too. So I think that's what we'll do today um, for more prep for our uh, underwater farm that we want to do. But I will go ahead and do that and we'll take a look at what we got here. Alright guys, so I think uh, to start off with going to our underground farms here, we need to really design our way in first and then we can go into some more of the underground features. So let's go ahead and sleep because it just so happens to be nighttime right when I need it to be day. So let's do that real quick. And so what we're going to do is we're going to build, so I kind of feel like building a canopy outside. So it's just going to be kind of a, a nice way into our, uh, basically our underwater farm. So I'm going to get rid of these really quick. Let's grab you two. And so we can see underwater here. That actually looks kind of cool from here. But uh, yeah, so I figure this is kind of make like a nice little overhang leading right into our farm. So I got a bunch of spruce fences that I think will work really well. And I think I'm going to layer this too thick, as in two blocks thick. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's see how I want to do this. Well, you know what? Let's go. Maybe I'll fully cover it. I'll actually go out to an edge block here. Let's we'll see what this looks like. That one. Oh, this is going to have to come up anyway. It's pretty good. And then these here will also be wood. Like this. Uh oh. I gotta get rid of it. Okay. Okay. So that's a start for those two. And 
Now I'm gonna build this guy out. We're going too too wide here. And for our stairs, we're probably gonna go with our dark oak wood stairs to the way down. They keep with the same the same feeling that we have in here. So it'll be pretty easy. We just build this here. Don't worry, I'll use stone stairs eventually. Right now we're just sticking to our lagoon wood theme here. And then as we get lower in the water, for example, we'll start building with our chiseled stone and our stone brick stairs as well. So this will look pretty good going down into it. Perfect. I just need to build more stairs. So let's do that. I think I have some dark oak here. I wonder if I have any. I don't have any more. Okay. Should be good. Okay. Yeah, I've been, uh, so I was talking, uh, I don't know if I talked about it earlier, but I went on vacation and went to Seattle. It was really nice. And I got back feeling great. Uh, and then a day later I got sick. So I'm just getting over that. I'm still kind of sick today. Took a day off of work. So I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and just Minecraft because that's what you do when you're sick, right? Just craft away. So I figure, hey, let's do this. And all I've been eating is soup and drinking juice. So it's kind of like those involuntary cleanses that you have, but it's working. So I'll be back on my feet 100% here in the next day or two. Okay, so we got that done. We gotta build these out by twos. And both those are not right. I think it's looking pretty good so far. Like that. And then this guy, yeah, we'll be down here. And these torches drive me crazy on the other hand sometimes. Okay, let's get this guy going. Okay. All right, so we got our basic canopy here. So now we got to put up our spruce wood fences. So the canopy is going to start kind of at the level we're at here, and it will go out. So we just need to create a foundation for it. So if I go out one, two, three, four, five, I don't know how high I want this. Other guys should be at the same level. Okay. Take some of this out right here. Left me up. Okay. Good. And we'll do offsetting. So a diagonally from that we'll have the other one. And this is basically gonna hold our leaves and provide us some light to see through as well. So as we go and build this up, like that. Really restricting me there. There we go. Well, I went out and then I went in. That is not what I wanted. 
I don't know what looks better. If I go out to a third now, I don't want to go out to a third. Let's keep it simple and go in one. Whoops. My god. Come on, upstairs. Come on. There we go. Perfect. And then as this goes lower, the canopy lowers to... to these guys that expand out. So we'll have this guy, this guy, like this. These guys will be shorter, so maybe I'll go, I don't know, let's see. Let's see, oh my god, this is just nerve wracking. I got to build a, Okay, we'll do five, and then this one will go down to three. Where do you guys? Maybe one, two, three. Sorry if you hear that in the background, guys. I got lawnmower guys out in the yard. So, of course, well, no, we don't want that. Okay. This goes to five. These build up from here. One, two, three, four. Okay. And this guy. I can really hear that now. Sorry if you guys hear that. They are right up next to my door. All right, so we got those. This guy we don't need. Boom, so we got our canopy going in, holding up out. And then at the end here, these guys. Well, maybe we won't need a, a second layer. Maybe I'll reduce this down to one as the last piece. I think that's what I'm gonna do. We don't need this. It's supposed to get thinner as you get closer to the uh, the end, of course, which will go underwater. Okay. Right. Let me get a drink here real quick. Okay. Now, now we have to put and connect these. So to connect these, we're going to need combination of half slabs to have a bunch of spruce wood I want to get some oak wood too and just kind of get the base of that started here just kind of how we have our, our stairs here how they're intertwined like this I want the canopy to be like that and then we're gonna use actually birch leaves um, which I think is really nice uh, that we could use and I gotta sleep again here here we go And we'll do a quick rundown of what we're going to do to build that. And then I'll just spill the rest of that off camera here. Because I know we're probably get, got to check the time here. Let's see if we can do this here real quick. So this top area, I'm just going to get rid of this. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. But let's first see where we want our slabs. So it's probably going to be made out of slabs. Okay, so we'll start with, I think I'm just going to do it in rows. I might randomize it, but we'll start in rows and then randomize. So we'll start with, let's see, one, two, three, four. 
think I need to go out one more here. Like this. All right, that covers all of it. I think we'll go out too. See what the dark oak looks like next to that. Huh, I don't know. Maybe if I just make it all out of spruce. Oh, I gotta cut down this whole thing over here. If I make it all out of spruce, put the leaves on, it might look a little bit better. But I'm gonna mess around with that. So basically what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna lower this down gradually to the end there. And then in between, we're just gonna have just leaves kind of like we have in here. Um, kind of holding it all together. I might, I don't know if I'm gonna do all leaves and a small amount of wood, not sure. But we'll go to lower this down, make our canopy, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that and I'll be back. All right guys, so I have updated our entrance out to our farm. And let's go take a look here. So I did put in those birch leaves and I did find some pod sole, which is on the very south of this, uh, whatever this lake is or ocean that we have on the very south border, there's a, a taiga over there, which has all this pod sole, which this uh, texture pack, uh, which is in the description, it's Chroma Hills, uh, has these as pod sole, which looks really awesome because it's the same leaf type as the birch leaves. So. We utilize the birch leaves. I decided to go with one column instead of two. And I wanted to have a little bit of a torch feel out here as well as we go into our underground farms. So uh, basically our corridors are gonna be made of this type of stone, the mossy uh, stone brick. And then as we get into here, I'm still deciding on the corridor if I want mossy stone brick um, or if I wanna go with glass. So we'll have mossy stone brick as like the base one down here. And then we'll have glass kind of over it for our corridors and then as we go down into this huge valley down here uh, as we make our farms uh, we can go ahead and uh, basically put glass over it so I don't know if I just want flat glass so just basically pick a level and make it flat across the whole valley here or if I want to use uh, like a dome type of feature I kind of like the domes but uh, I don't know how much more appealing that would be so I'm gonna have to test it out I'm sorry about the darkness here and it's all purple. Um, I'm only going out 15 blocks, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. Uh, we got our uh, area down here for that. And then also what I've been doing, since we killed the wither, we need to get that uh, beacon up and running for sure. So all that string that I have for my double spider spawner that I have down below us, I've started to uh, trade with villagers because I did find a Fletcher for the string. So right now I've collected about a stack and 18 emerald. Um, I have some more on me here uh, that I'll bring up, but I only have basically, I don't know how many more stacks, 24, 48 more stacks, which only, depending on how well this guy right here doesn't make me buy this other stuff here. Um, we only get about a couple of, uh, like 10, I would say 10, five, maybe five to six per inventory space for a stack. So uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a while before we have the full 136 136 140 I forget uh, blocks that we need but I do want to make an emerald one which would be pretty cool because that's the first emerald one I've really made all naturally done in survival so they'll be pretty cool but we collected some slime so um, in going down let's just go downstairs and look at our slime area so that's uh, what I've been working on here next uh, but I'll have to end it for this episode here but I'm cutting out uh, this area for our slime so I think for next episode We'll uh, work on this a little bit more so we can get more slimes because I really want a slime elevator. I'm sick and tired of these uh, ladders going up and down here. And then uh, we do need to work on our corridor and this uh, as well as our farm, underwater farm. So everything is looking good, guys. Hope you guys have a great day and I will definitely catch you guys next time. See you guys later.